glory is only earned in battle. And on September 11th, Ring of Honor returns to internet pay-per-view with glory by Honor 9. Tyler Black defends the ROH world title against Roderick Strong with Truth Martini. Colt Cabana and El Generico battle Steve Carino and Kevin Steen in a violent double chain match. And the kings of wrestling battle Charlie Haas and Shelton Benjamin to find out who is the best tag team in the world. September 11th, GoFightLive.tv. Glory by Honor 9. YouTube World back at it once again. It's Instant Classic 8. And you already see from the title, I mean, we're only a few days away. You guys already know what's up. Um, for the people who follow Ring of Honor, who already know about this show, this video is not for you, but you're more than welcome to check it out. Uh, this is for the people who are not familiar, who don't follow Ring of Honor, and who have no idea about this pay-per-view. And also for the people that are tired of just continuously watching their favorite wrestling programs, uh, daily, weekly, monthly, and just being unsatisfied, you know, spending their 35 their 45 their $55 every single month for a pay-per-view and just can, getting let down all the time. This is specifically for you. Ring of Honor Wrestling is presenting a pay-per-view this Saturday night called Glory by Honor 9. This event is taking place from New York City. Uh, this is their fourth internet pay-per-view. Um, and even if you're not following Ring of Honor, if you're familiar with, you know, the videos on YouTube, you heard all the buzz about Death Before Dishonor. You heard how much we hyped that show up to the moon. And the show paid off. I mean, I know every guy, you know, who didn't know about Ring of Honor at that time, but they took a chance on Death Before Dishonor. And they were like, man, that was an amazing show. You know, you had a great tag match between the Briscoes and Kings of Wrestling. And then you had pretty much, in my personal opinion, the match of the year with Tyler Black and David Richards. Uh, this event looks just to be just as good. Um, I feel that Glory by Honor can be a more well-rounded show, a more complete show than Death Before Dishonor was. But that's not taking anything away from either pay-per-view. Um, it's going to be a great, great show. And the, the thing I love about it most is it only cost $14.95. Fourteen ninety five. You can go on GoFightLive.tv. This is the uh, this is the company that's presenting the show. GoFightLive. They've done the uh, previous three pay per views from Ring of Honor, and they've done a great uh, job. Obviously, you know this being over the internet, people have problems with streaming and audio and everything. And you know, Ring of Honor had its his, his trials, you know, in the beginning, but they've gone ahead and they've made it up. You know, for the past you know few pay per views, Final Battle was you know iffy, but it got better with Big Bang, and then I had no problems at all with uh, Death Before Dishonor. You know, just one little mis mishap, but it was like 30 seconds long, and it was like during a match that no one really cared about. But uh, but yeah, Go Fight Live has done a tremendous job. Um, presenting these pay-per-views and this should be no less um, this is like I said it is taking place in New York City from the Manhattan Center um, I've already paid my fourteen ninety five. you know when it popped on Go Fight Live I paid my money completely forgetting that I'm actually going to be in attendance for this show but still fourteen ninety five. it's it's nothing it's it's less than the DVD from Ring of Honor it's what Definitely less than you know one pay, uh, one wrestling company's pay per view, and then more than half, you know, more than half of uh, less than half, I should say, of another wrestling uh, pay per view. So I would definitely check this out. It's going to be well worth your money. I'm just going to give uh, you my thoughts on all eight matches because all eight matches amount were announced as of today. So I just want to give you my thoughts on um, each individual match. We started off with the tag team grudge match, uh, the Embassy who is uh, Eric Stevens and Necro Butcher taking on the team of Grizzly Redwood and a uh, partner of his choosing. Now, he's always said, well, he's said for the past few weeks that he's got a special partner in mind. And, you know, the special thing about this is it could be anyone. Um, if you checked out Supercard of Honor 5, which was Ring of Honor's last New York show, um, at the end of the match he had with Eric Stevens, we saw Balls Mahoney come out, basically come out of nowhere to, I guess you can say, save Grizzly Redwood. So, you know, that was a surprise. So, you know, he can have anybody here. Um, in the back of my mind, I'm just really thinking like Bobby Dempsey. But, you know, there's no telling. And this will be, I don't really recall to call this the Divas match. But, you know, this will be just that match, that filler match to give people the chance to catch their breath because there is a lot of good stuff on this show. So, I'm excited to see who this, the uh, special partner is going to be. But we shall see on Saturday night. Um, we just had a special challenge match. Uh, this actually was today. Uh, the All Night Express, the team of Kenny King and Brett Titus, have challenged the uh, Briscoe brothers, Mark and Jay Briscoe. Now, at first I thought it was going to be a tag match, but interesting, it's actually going to be a singles uh, 
it's going to be two singles matches. The first match being Mark Briscoe versus Rhett Titus, and then the second match being um, Jay Briscoe versus Kenny King. Now, we saw these two in a tag battle back at Supercard of Honor, and they had a, a really good match, so it's going to be really interesting to see how these two um, these two matches go, com seeing that they're you know singles matches. Um, obviously, Kenny King and Rhett Titus have had more experience as singles wrestlers, but that's not taking anything away from Mark and Jay, you know. They're, they're an amazing tag team, but, you know, when you put them in there by themselves, they can still hold their own. We've seen that, you know, just this year against uh, Chris Hero and Claudio Castagnoli, they held their own. So, should be uh, two interesting matches to check out there. And then we have, um, which could possibly be the, I guess you can call it the sleeper match of the night. They're building this as the battle, battle of the best. Um, Austin Aries, the greatest man, Nature to ever live, versus the, the fallen angel Christopher Daniels. Um, this match should be tremendous. Um, you have just two excellent talents in there. And then just personalities, you know, especially with uh, Austin Aries. You know, you're going to get an entertaining match, but also just a great wrestling match. You know, I said that at Death Before Dishonor that uh, Chris Daniels and Kenny Omega was basically going to steal it, or they had the chance to steal the show. And they went out there and had a great match. I feel the same way about this match, you know, not just because Chris Daniels is in the match, but Austin Aries, like I said, is just tremendous, tremendous talent. And uh, these two in the ring, these two with uh, being in the ring together, they can do tremendous things together. It's going to be a great match. Uh, then we go to the, uh, I guess you can call it a grudge match, I'm not sure, but it is going to be a brutal match. Uh, the team of Kevin Steen and Steen Carino versus El Generico and Colt Cabana. This is a double chain match. Um, if you saw their battle at uh, Bitter Friends, Different Enemies 2 in Chicago, they had a... Um, I, base, I think it was basically a street fight. This should be no less. Um, this is going to be just the most brutal match you'll probably see all year. Um, just these guys tied up with the chain. You know, They're going to get the chain and they're going to get uh, different weapons and everything. This is just going to be a crazy brawl. Um, especially with Kevin Steen. You guys know how crazy he is. Um, actually, Kevin Steen opened up a, uh, what I thought was interesting, he opened up a uh, email thing where you can actually email Kevin Steen, he'll give you advice. I don't know how good that advice will be, but either way, um, someone should give him some advice about this match because it is going to be brutal and uh, there's going to be a lot of bloodshed here. So, very interested to see how this match is going to go, but um, kind of hoping these guys can make it through because it's going to be a war. Then we have... Uh, the match that I'm most excited about, I'll, that pretty much everyone's excited about, the Dream Tag Match. Um, the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, uh, the Kings of Wrestling, which is the team of Chris Hero and Claudio Castagnoli, taking on Wrestling's Greatest Tag Team, the team of Charlie Haas and Shelton Benjamin. Um, I've already given my thoughts on those Shelton Benjamin and everything with this match, but if you listen to these guys, um, just this past week, the Kings of Wrestling uh, did an interview, and then this week, the Wrestling's Greatest Tag Team did an interview, basically just hyping up the match. Um, also, checking these guys out on Twitter, just saying, you know, how prepared and, you know, how much they're training for this match. This could be something special, basically. Um, you know, this is the first time we're going to see Charlie Haas and Shelton Benjamin without WWE handcuffs. They're going to go out there and they're going to give it at all and show people exactly what they can do. Not just saying, you know, the, the, the rest holes, the arm bars they did in WWE. They're actually going to go out there and they're going to go. And that's, that's not saying that's going to be an easy thing because you do have who, in my opinion, is the greatest tag team in the world, the Kings of Wrestling, Chris here on Claudio Castagnoli, they're not going to go down without a fight. They're going to go out there, and they're going to stomp, and they're going to give you the elbow, and they're going to give you the king swing, and the UFO, and you're going to get all that stuff and more, and it's going to be an amazing match. I feel this will be the match of the night, and, um, man, I'm just so excited for this match. It's going to be amazing. Like I said, it's something really special, and you guys... I mean, that's that match alone right there is worth fourteen ninety five. Go fight live TV. Definitely check it out. Gonna be an amazing match. And then we have the world title match. Roderick Strong, the number one contender, taking on the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion and Tyler Black. Um, this match is now no DQ. Um, I believe Terry Funk, who's actually going to be a special guest that night, he's going to be the, um, what does it say, the special ringside enforcer. He'll get in, involved in the match somehow, whether it's just, you know, a push and the shoving match. But uh, this match should be very interesting. You know, you got Tyler Black, who's, 
you know, heel right now, and Roderick Strong, who's aligned himself with Truth Martini, who's pretty much heel. You got two heels going in here. It's going to be interesting, uh, nonetheless. Obviously, it's going to be a great match. But um, with Tyler Black, you know, Tyler Black, this is his last match before going to Greener Pastures. Um, good, but good luck to him. I, I wish nothing but Tyler Black the, and the best in the world in the future. But um, this is going to be his last match before going on. New York City already hates him. They're going to boo this man out of the city. You know, there's no way he's going to be able to return after this. But um, it should be interesting. We've seen Tyler Black do um, some WWE mannerisms just the past few weeks uh, in the Richmond show and Charlotte show. I would love to see him do a bunch of mannerisms like the uh, like the You Can't See Me or the DX Suck It sign or the Orton pose. You know, just different stuff. Um... Just, you know, something interesting, you know, from Tyler Black. But like I said, nonetheless, this is going to be a great match. Um, now, as far as the winner, this is the, like the only match I'm going to predict. And I'm going to stick with my predictions. From the first time I heard this match, you know, especially with Tyler Black leaving, I still, for now, predict that neither Tyler Black or Roderick Strong will leave New York City as champion. That's just my pick. I don't know who will, you know, whether it be Austin Aries, whether it be uh, Chris Daniels, whether it be... I don't know. Uh, Eddie Edwards, who I also forgot to mention, Eddie Edwards is facing, uh, if he's still champion, he's facing uh, Sean Devari. That should be a good match. But either way, whether it be someone you know else, I just feel that neither of these men will leave New York as champion. We shall see. You should definitely check it out. Go fight live.tv, 8 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Ring of Honor's Glory by Honor. If you ever watch Ring of Honor, if you've thought about it, just take the chance. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. It's going to be a fantastic time. Um, anybody that's going to be there, come say hello. I would love to meet you. It's going to be a great night overall. I hope you guys enjoy the show. Uh, we'll give you my thoughts about it later. But until then, go fight live.tv, Glory by Honor 9. It's going to be Ring of Honor. It's going to be fantastic. And it's going to be the best pay-per-view you've seen this year. Till then, I am Mr. Classic 8. Peace.